Today I'm making some biochar. Dug myself a ditch in these wood chips. There was already a ditch there. Put in some dry wood. Lit it up. And now it's cooking. I'll keep filling it to the top. I'll keep filling it with wood until the coals are to the top. Then I'll douse the whole thing with water. Fixing up to have marshmallows on the campfire. Okay, it's the next day. I doused the flames at like 5.30 last night. I was in the dark for a little while while I watched it burn. Um, I didn't fill it up to the top. I didn't have enough wood and I didn't really feel like finding more in the dark. So this is what I got. Last night, I doused the fire with water. Today, I removed the big bulky items and placed them here. I'll burn them for another day. And today, I'm focusing in on the charcoal that's burned throughout the entire depth of this pit. So let's go take a look at what we have. Another piece, big piece. The big pieces I'll reburn in another in another fire. Right now I'm chopping up the charcoal to make it a little smaller. I only burnt stuff that was no longer useful in the garden anymore. Now it's useful again as charcoal. Two big buckets full of charcoal. Now this charcoal is uncharged. That is to say, it's like a dry sponge. It has lots of small holes. However, those holes are empty. We need to fill those holes up with things that are nutritious to the soil. These are your common fertilizers, you know, your nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Pond water is a good way to charge it. Even better, if you have this pure charcoal, you can use it to, as a fish filter. And you can, if you have fish that you're uh, farming, you can clean the water by passing it through these buckets. Um, I don't have fish yet, but I do plan to dig a pond this year. 